वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट लॉग इन विद योर क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड वन स्टूडेंट विद दिस जस्ट सिंपली कम बैक ओवर हियर क्लिक ऑन दिस चेक बॉक्स एंड क्लिक ऑन एग्री एंड कंटिन्यू नाउ जस्ट वेट एंड एक्टिवेट योर क्लाउड चेल इट विल टेक कपल ऑफ सेकंड्स सो जस्ट वेट फॉर दैट and then click on this continue now in description box i will share one github link so just open this link okay like this now just click on this copy option and just copy all this command okay just done click on this now just wait and just paste the command over here like this and hit enter wait for a second and click on authorize okay now just go back to the live instructions come on the task number 2 scroll down little bit and copy this cloud entity do not copy that full stop just copy this just simply search over here open this thing new tab come back over here then copy this name just copy this name just wait click on this get started wait for a couple of second and just paste the name over here like this now for the network you have to just choose default now for the region if you just go to the lab instruction here you can see for me the region is us central one so i'm going to choose that before that just copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy this name click over here then choose the us central one then click over here and then click on this create new router now paste the name over here and then click on create scroll down and then click on this create so we have done with this part scroll down now we have to create in europe region so just copy this name again click on this create cloud gateway paste the name for your gateway like this now for the network you have to just choose default now for the region if you just simply scroll down here you can see europe west one before that i am going to choose the copy this name like this and from here we have to just choose the region europe west one this one like this now click over here click on create paste the name over here like this and then click on this create scroll down and then click on this create and you are done with the task number 2 okay if you just go to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue as you can see we got a score no need to perform the task number 3 just simply come on the task number 4 okay scroll down little bit first of all just copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy this name now just simply search for the load balancer open this thing in new tab come back over here and then click on this create load balancer now here you have to just choose a http click on this start now here you can see in global you have to just choose global and this classic one just click over here and then click on continue now just wait now paste the name over here which just copy this one now here please pay attention for the front end configuration here you can see ipv4 just click on this done again click on this add now here just choose the ipv6 like this and click on done okay now click on this back end configuration and i request you please watch the video carefully because this is a very important part of this lab okay click on this and then choose the back end service like this now for the name just simply scroll down copy this name paste over here okay now please pay attention make sure that your back end type must be instance group okay now here you can see instance group click over here then choose a us central one okay and here you can see for the us central one for the balancing mode it must be red like this okay now for the port just simply type 80 and then click on this blank space and just cross verify the port number must be 80 because what happens sometime when you type the 80 the number change automatically so just make sure of that thing now for the maximum rps it must be 50 if you just go to the lab instruction from here you can just check the data like this okay then click on this done so we have done with the us central one again click on this add now for the instance group we have to choose europe like this okay now for the port number again type 80 i and again click on this blank space like this now for the balancing mode in europe it must be utilization no need to make any other changes just simply scroll down and click on this done so we have done with the backends scroll down little bit here you can see health check click over here then click on this create health check now just simply scroll down now copy this name just paste the name over here like this no need to make any other changes just simply click on save scroll down and here you can see login click on this check box and the main thing you have to check the sample rate it must be one now click on this create and you are done with the front end and back end configuration click on this done and then click on this create okay now just simply scroll down no need to perform all these things we have already done and once this thing is get created we you will get a score on the task number 4 without any issue okay now just simply scroll down we will perform this task later step okay now just simply come on the task number 6 okay scroll down little bit copy this cloud armor copy that just simply open this thing new tab come back over here just simply come back over here wait for a couple of second now click on this create policy now for the name just simply scroll down copy this thing carefully copy this 
like this and paste over here like this scroll down now here just click on this allow option like this click on this next step now click over here now scroll down and here you can see match now for that just simply search for the vm instance open this thing in new tab like this and here you can see this vm just copy this external ip copy that come back over here and just paste the external ip over here like this no need to make any other changes now for the priority just simply type thousand like this then click on this done so you have done with this now click on this next click on this add target and from here you have to just choose the http like this and then just simply click on create now just wait for this task to get complete And as you can see, it's done. Now, if I just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, let's see if we got a score or not. And here you can see we are not able to get a score. And here you can see the error. Please create an instance with desired configuration. And if you remember, as I said in the task number five, we will do this task later. Okay, this task. Okay, so what we have to do, just simply come back to the VM instance. And here you can see this Segi VM, click on this down arrow and then just click on this view g cloud command just simply click over here then copy this command copy that go back to your dashboard and run the command over here like this just wait and just press y and hit enter now here we have to just press enter button couple of times like this now let me just increase the text size for you so that you can cross verify like this and here you can see student at the rate segi vm this vm so we are logging with the vm now now just simply scroll down okay now just copy this command just copy this paste over here like this and it's done now again scroll down now here please pay attention copy from this export till here this equal to sign just copy like this paste over here now for the ip range go back to your load balancer and here you can see it's created now click on this name and then copy this first IP. Just copy that, go back to your dashboard and paste over here. Like this, hit enter. So we have done with this part. Now copy this command, just run over here. Then copy the last command and run over here like this. And do not worry about this error. No need to worry, just simply scroll down. So you have done with all these things, just simply scroll down. Now click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Just wait and watch. As you can see, you got a score. If you didn't get a score on the first time, no need to worry. Just wait for a couple of seconds, you will get a score. Now let's check the score for the remaining task. So if I just simply scroll down, click on this check my progress, I will get a score without any issue. Now if I just simply come on the task number three, scroll down a little bit and click on this check my progress, I will get a score without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. Now let's check the score for the task number four. And as you can see, I got a score without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.